I don't know you personally, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to be that person who is at the end of their life and they are regretting everything in their life because they allow self-doubt and imposter syndrome to hold them back. You have the opportunity to change your entire life. That opportunity is at your fingertips. You just need to use it. Two weeks ago, I literally moved to Costa Rica from America. I am a young black 25 year old woman from Detroit, Michigan. I moved to Los Angeles, California, and now I live in Costa Rica. I live at a resort. I live at a resort teaching yoga. Now, if this wasn't my reality, I'm pretty sure if I told people I want to move to Costa Rica, I want to live at a resort full time, and I want to teach yoga, people would look at me like I'm crazy. But it's only crazy until it's done. It's only crazy because no one has seen you do it before. I wouldn't have gotten here if I allowed self-doubt and imposter syndrome to hold me back. If I thought that I was an imposter, if I thought that I was a fraud, if I thought that people were going to talk about me and I actually cared, I would not be here. And since you're watching this video i'm assuming that you are ready to change your life so you cannot let that stuff get to you either and if you're new here my name is ramani i create content about self-elevation and that can be through my lock journey my weight loss journey self-care tips moving abroad i'm just here to help the girls level up. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my journey with self-doubt. I'm going to talk about why we doubt ourselves and why we even let imposter syndrome be a thing. And then I'm gonna talk about how to overcome that. There's gonna be timestamps on this video, but I really do want you to watch the entire thing because the message that I have, I feel like you need to hear it. I would be lying if I said that I didn't experience some self-doubt before moving to Costa Rica to teach yoga. Even before moving to Costa Rica, just moving to Los Angeles and teaching yoga in LA, I have my own yoga business. So even me just renting a space, promoting the classes on social media and hoping people come, I would be lying if I said I did not experience self-doubt throughout my entire journey. When I moved to LA, I didn't know anyone in the yoga space. I didn't even know I was going to become a yoga teacher out there. I've been doing yoga for eight years, but I've only been teaching for two years. So I didn't know anybody in that space. And when I decided to create hip hop and R&B yoga, I, it, it was a lot for me. It was a lot for me because I'm not from Los Angeles, not knowing anybody in the wellness industry, not knowing where to rent the space. I was trying to do something that I had never seen done before. And now moving to Costa Rica to teach yoga at a resort, I am the authority figure in everybody's eyes because I'm the yoga instructor, but I'm still a human being. So every day when I'm meeting new people because I am at a resort where people come and go, I'm meeting new people, they're coming to my class, I don't know what they're thinking about me. I don't know how they're perceiving me. There aren't a lot of black people at this resort, so I never know how I'm being judged. And even before getting here, I started to have thoughts like, am I the one who should be doing this? Should I be teaching these people yoga? Am I qualified to teach yoga internationally when I am not from this place? I experienced all of these thoughts and I experienced this fear, but the thing about self-doubt and fear, it is okay for you to experience them because you're human and you're always going to be experiencing emotions. It is not okay for you to stall and for you to stop your life due to emotions. Emotions are temporary. Emotions are not facts. So when you make the choice to stop your life, to say, I'm not going to do this thing because of a temporary feeling, you're holding yourself back. At the beginning of this year, I made a video talking about how I was going to change my life in 2024. Now, girl, did I think I was going to be in Costa Rica? No, but I was open to whatever life was willing to throw at me. So when I was experiencing this self-doubt, this fear, I always went back to that video because in that video I talked about how I was going to quantum leap. I was going to take my life from point A to point Z. There was no in between. I was going to level up. So it's basically a one-year experiment that I'm doing. I guess I am six months into that experiment because it's June and six months in I am living at a resort in Costa Rica. Whenever I am experiencing the self-doubt and the fear, I go back to my one-year experiment and I I tell myself, I know that you feel uncomfortable right now, but you said for this entire year, you are going to do what it takes to get your life from point A to point Z. You're
you're not going to care about anybody else you're not going to care about what people think what people say about you if the content flops if if nothing goes right you said that you were still going to be consistent for this entire year because that's what i told myself i was going to focus on yoga and content creation and i was not going to listen to the outside noise or the inside noise if i'm the one who is beating myself up so when i was experiencing that self-doubt and that fear i had to remember this is just a part of the process you said you were going to keep going no matter what and i keep going when we're kids, we rarely doubt ourselves. We do things without even thinking, which is why a kid can come up to you and say, look what I can do. And then they try to do a cartwheel and they really don't do a cartwheel, but you're like, oh my God, great job. And they feel so good within themselves. You could have said great job or not great job. They wouldn't have cared because kids don't care. And we have to be more childlike. We have to be more childlike if we want to get from point A to point B, because there's going to be so much noise on the journey. You might have some negative feelings towards yourself people may have something negative to say you have to be able to have tunnel vision because there's always going to be some noise on this journey most times we struggle with self-doubt because we are afraid to be perceived in the back of our mind an interaction with the person can go either one of two ways they could really like you or they could not like you but most times this not liking you that is what you are thinking in your head you're thinking they're going to talk negatively about me they're not going to like me but there's always that other possibility that everything will actually go good so most times self-doubt is just fear of judgment you are afraid of people seeing you for who you really are even if nobody says anything negative you are going to insert yourself and start saying negative things to yourself like i could never do that that would never happen to me because you are trying to do it before somebody else does it same thing with imposter syndrome we tell ourselves what we are not because we think that everybody is already thinking oh they're a fraud so you're telling yourself that you're inadequate before somebody else gets to tell you that. You're saying, oh, I, I don't do that for real because you feel like somebody else is going to say that to you. As a yoga instructor, I feel like people are very comfortable talking to me, so they just open up. And a lot of people talk about fear of judgment coming from either family members or people from their past. So I wanna address these specifically. Family can be tricky to navigate because you put a lot of weight on their opinions. Me? Me, Romani, I've learned that I don't care. Like, I literally don't care. Family or not, I honestly don't take anybody's criticism or praises to heart. More than likely, if you are experiencing the fear of being judged by your family, you and your family are on two different paths and two different frequencies. You are most likely wanting to level up your life. You're wanting to change your life. And so you're doing things that are outside of the norm. So people who are on a different frequency, a frequency that judges uh, you you get what i'm saying i'm not trying to say like a negative frequency because we don't want to attach those labels to people but people who are on the frequency of judgment they may never see the good that you're doing and you have to be okay with that you have to be able to say we are on different paths they are not going to understand what i'm doing and that is okay but you cannot take the criticism to heart a lot of people in your family may have never followed their dreams before and you cannot listen to people who have never followed their dreams about you following your dreams and it sounds harsh but it's reality most people are not going to accomplish their goals they're going to live a mundane life so if you don't want to live a mundane life you cannot listen to people who live a mundane life and it's hard being an outsider if anybody knows i know trust me but i've come to the point of realization that my life is not going to look like anyone else's life i want a life that feels like a fairy tale most people think that that is so outlandish so we are never going to see eye to eye i wanted a life where i traveled i didn't have to worry about anything Thing, all accommodations were taken care of that pretty much sounds crazy so I just have to surround myself with the people who don't think that that's crazy and as far as imposter syndrome you're not a fraud you're not a fraud like literally you're not a fraud I say that so many times because we get to thinking and we're like who am I to do this I can't do this I'm not qualified nobody is qualified for anything honestly we are all just humans on a floating rock doing the best that we can so who's to say that you can't be this thing you are whatever you call yourself if you tell yourself that you can't do something then you can't do it if you want to be a content creator and you tell yourself i can't create content nobody's gonna watch what i say then you can't create content and nobody's gonna watch what you say but if you tell myself i am a content creator i do what content creators do people love my videos then that it's just gonna happen that was just a scenario but let's say you want to be a doctor you want to be a lawyer you are whatever you well, if you want to be a doctor and a lawyer, I'm going to need you to actually get qualified for that and go to school. But you are whatever you call yourself. 
The first way to heal from this is to ask yourself why. Why do I feel like this? Why do I care? And then I want you to ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen if I let go of the self-doubt and the imposter syndrome and I just do the thing that I've been scared to do? What is the worst that can happen? I fail, okay, and then I get to try again. I think that people think failure is just like, there's nothing after that. You only fail if you don't keep going. Yes, this may not have gone how you wanted it to go, but now you have learned for the next time and the next time and the next time. When people find out that I live at a resort, they always tell me I'm lucky. Must be nice, must be nice. It is nice because I worked my ass off to get this. And when I pitched myself to resorts, everybody didn't say yes. I sent about 100 emails and only two of them said yes, but I had to keep going even after those no's. It may not turn out how you want it to turn out at first, but that is your opportunity to keep going. When they started telling me no in those first emails that I sent to the resorts, I was like, what can I change about the email? Because they said no, now I know that I need to go back to the drawing board and I need to fix some things. And then I want you to focus on shifting. We are shifting the fear into confidence. So I want you to think, what is the best thing that can happen? Whenever I am feeling anxious or I'm feeling doubtful, I always ask myself, what is the best thing that can happen? And then I just get this dopamine rush because I realize, oh my God, so many good things can happen from this. When you get your answer to what's the best thing that can happen, I want you to carry that with you. So whenever you experience doubt and you experience fear, I want you to go back and say, wait, but this could happen. I could be a millionaire tomorrow. My video could blow up tomorrow. My boss could give me a promotion tomorrow. All of these things can happen. Just because you don't see it happening every single day doesn't mean that miracles are not working or are not happening all around you. And then I just want you to be kinder to yourself in general, especially if you're experiencing imposter syndrome. Just be kinder to yourself. Stop saying the things that are going to bring you down. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. You hold so much weight with your words. You have to be intentional, especially when you're talking about yourself. You might have people in your life that are going to lift you up, but nobody's gonna lift you up more than you're gonna lift you up. Nobody cares that much. You have to love and care for yourself enough to say, I can do this. I am more than capable. I am qualified. And then I want you to take action. I want you to do the thing. I want you to do the thing that you are afraid to do. I know that you are experiencing doubt and fear but I want you to do it scared like I said at the beginning of this video there are a lot of things that I am afraid of but I do it anyway so I get the thing done and then I look back and I say girl why were you scared so no longer will you allow this fear to stop you yes feel the fear I'm not telling you to throw the fear in the trash can feel the fear but I want you to do it scared and then I want you to celebrate the small victories I have a gratitude list in my notes and I have to keep making them every month because they get so long but I want you to record every single good thing that happens from the action that you've taken. We'll go back to the content creator example. Let's say you were scared but you posted the video. One person liked it. You're going to write one person liked my video in the gratitude list. And every day as you start to see this list grow longer, you're going to say, oh, so taking action was actually beneficial. Yes, I'm scared, but look at all of the great things that have come from this. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me a little brown heart in the comments. I truly hope that this video helps you let go of the self-doubt and let go of the fear and just live a life that you love. Live a life where you are thriving, you are happy, and you are doing the things that you want to do. If you're interested in my journey of moving abroad, because you know I done vlogged everything, I'm going to leave the travel vlogs down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram because I show a whole bunch more than I do on YouTube. And I will see you in my next video.